I've never made a secret of the fact that I'm a vehicular packaging fetishist. I really, really love the way vehicles get packed and novel uses of space, which is why I'm so excited to be here with this Rivian truck, because it might be the best vehicular packaging experiment or method that I've ever seen in a very, very long time. It's got all kinds of interesting cubbies and packaging solutions. And I'm here with Brian Gase, who's the chief engineer of special projects, which means you were in charge of a lot of the interesting solutions you came up with packaging this vehicle. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I it's, think the, it's the thing from my side, people ask me what I'm the most proud of from being here. Yeah. And this truck has a cool examples so we'll get to in a little bit but it's the architecture, the layout, the thousands of decisions we've made to get to here from an architecture side, that's, that's the cool thing about what we have going on. And there's a lot of interesting things. Because it's using an electric platform, uh, becoming the standard style of skateboard chassis with motors at front and rear, batteries in the bottom, you can do an awful lot with the packaging. So I'm gonna have you kind of walk me through all sure. the cool things this thing has. I also kind of am a, a vehicular lighting fetishist as well. And what you're doing here is kind of interesting from a lighting standpoint. So. I noticed there's a light bar going on here and some interesting light units. Can you show yep. me what's going on? Like where yeah. are the turn indicators? So and turn indicators, we'll show you in a second. Um, what I've got is my stadium light, yeah. uh, high beam, low beam, DRL across the front, and it's very simple. It's a structure that if a kid sees this, they can sketch this, they can remember this. It's, sure. it's easy to identify. Let so me hop back in here and I'll turn the lights on really yeah, quickly Yeah, show me what you. the various things do. If I just turn on my fog lamp, you got fog. And then I can turn on my low beam and high beam. All right, standard lights and there. And then uh, just normal, you know, turn signal. So. Yeah, let me see an indicator. Yeah, that's great. So this goes from DRL to indicator seamlessly, which is nice. And this center bar, what else is it going to do? Is it just so, a DRL? The other nice thing with the center bar is uh, when you plug into charge, so from a distance, you can see not only from your phone, but actually visually it's the a indicator bar. of where it is. That's really cool. So you're actually conveying more information. That's a lot of fun. I like that. Here's the, uh, the 330 liter trunk. So under our power hood. Oh, look at that mind control hood. Like the thing I've always hated about trucks is there's always a lot of wasted space absolutely, in the front. Absolutely. From I know there's an engine in there, but from a standpoint of how much you can actually use it, this is a great idea. And this is a pretty good sized trunk. Yep. So this is enough to fit your bags in, your, your normal stuff, the things you'd want to take, whether it's groceries or whatever else. Um, the thing that enables this is our low flat skateboard. Yeah. So underneath here, I've got my Two front motors, right? Okay. It's a quad motor truck, so two front, two rear. Okay. I've got my normal radiator unit. And um, where's the the radiator has to be set because we've got trunk all the way up to here. So it's what set low and at an it's, angle. It's low and at an angle, so my okay. air intake is much smaller than you need for an internal combustion engine. Yeah, that's tiny. Uh, it's sized based on the high speed charge capacity of a DC charge to keep the battery cool, um, and it takes up very little space and it stays low. It gives us a flexible platform that can work not only in the truck, same in the SUV and uh, in future models as well. This is fun. I love the idea of a pickup with a front trunk. Let's see what you've got going on on the inside Great, as well. Great, come on over here. I know a lot of truck owners and buyers like to sit inside their trucks when they drive them or when they're just riding somewhere. Absolutely. So what do you have going on in the inside packaging so wise? So we've got really nice refined materials up top, the stuff you see, the type of stuff sure. you feel, and very durable, rugged materials down below. We're an Adventure Electric vehicle company. You can hose those off. Out. Can I grab those out and hose them off? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. It's not a moisture absorbent. It's very rugged. Right. Um, the other important thing, we want you to take friends on your adventure. So yeah. If you come back here a little bit. Sure. And I look at the rear seat. You've got plenty of space for adults in the back. So I can sit back here comfortably. Oh yeah. I'm not worried about leg room. I want to be comfortable on a longer road trip. And back to the package space where we started. Yeah. Underneath the rear seat, I've got storage as well. That's cool. Because this is a flat floor. There's no transmission tunnel. Absolutely. It's completely there's flat nothing under underneath there. the battery pack. Right. Which also allows the last thing, which I'm the most proud of as an engineer at Rivian. Yeah. From a package side, this is the best part. I've got what I call the gear tunnel. I love this. This is a full pass through. Old VW uh, microbus based pickup trucks used to have a massive locker under the bed. It reminds me of that, which is fun. If you had a pet alligator, this would be a great way to shove him in there instead of it leaving him out and in the if bed. If you had a pet alligator, you could keep your alligator treats right in here See, in the little bag. See, So many truck makers don't even consider the needs of alligator Nobody does. Owners. Or yeah. if you want to pet them, and I don't recommend petting an alligator, but you just sit down here, they're nice and friendly. Yeah. I would prefer to have a dog, but I wouldn't put my dog in the bin. It, yeah, I was gonna ask, is this strong enough for you to load stuff? Absolutely. Right, cool. So the nice thing is if I'm going camping, I've got my roof rack up here. It removes very quickly and locks in place. I can move these to the back of the vehicle. I can load stuff up, lock my things in place, and I know my gear is secure. That's fun. All right, let's uh, let's check out what you guys are doing with the bed now, because I think there's some interesting things there too. Great, okay. 
So the whole point of a pickup truck, of course, is a bed, a nice big bed that you can throw in lumber and alarm clocks and whatever the <laughs> hell you want. So show us what you have going on regarding your tailgate. I know you had done some interesting sure. things. So, so in this version of the truck, I have a 180 degree tailgate. What that means is I can drop the tailgate, okay, so not just 90. So let's stop here for a second, because most trucks, you have the tailgate will fold 90 degrees, and then there's always the issue of when you're loading something, yes. you're leaning in. So we do have a 90 degree option. Yeah. As you notice, when I let go of the button, it stopped moving. Yeah. This way you're not gonna crush things or hit whatever happens to be underneath there. Sure. If it's your pet alligator, Yeah, I don't fine. want anything to happen to but it. But I just dropped this all the way down. See, that's great. And now, that's but right. I wanna get inside to my full-size spare tire. So that's great. I've got it stored back here. If I don't have the tire, I can use this bin for storage. Which is great. So I know is that a lot of trucks will underslung the tire underneath where it gets filthy yep. and hard to get to. Here it's clean, it doesn't take up room in the front luggage, and Correct. you still have a totally flat Correct. loading yep. floor. That's great. And now the other thing you have access to now that you're in the back is we've got normal power outlets. Oh yeah. I've got this gear cable, so a retractable locking cable. The value of this is, if I've got my mountain bike, my prized possession that I love to ride, yeah. and I'm parking to get lunch, all I'm doing is looking out the window to see if my bike's okay. This is gonna let you know if oh, somebody's so trying to take you it. You just run that through the it. spokes or whatever. Exactly, and I've got the same one on the other side, and then for that precious mountain bike, let's say I get a flat tire, I've got onboard yeah. air right in front of you. And you said if someone cuts this, you get a warning or something? Yeah, so it's electrically connected. Wow. So if you sever that cable, your phone's gonna let you know, you're gonna know your gears being tampered with. And then That's when I want cool. to close the whole thing up, yeah. I've got my tonneau cover as well. So if you see the tonneau cover, oh, yeah, look at that. tailgate's closing. Yeah. And what I have, when this is all said and done, is a nice sealed in environment. That's cool. And this is watertight and everything, I'm guessing. That's pretty fun, a giant trunk. All right. So and this is back to a normal 90 degree tailgate position. Right. So you can haul your lumber, your bigger things. This is very cool. I, uh, I really appreciate just how much you're using every little bit of space in this thing, because again, that's the kind of thing that really, really gets me excited. This packaging is amazing. So there's all kinds of good things going on. How much is this thing? So entry level on the truck we're looking at here comes with a 105 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's the smallest of our three. Range would be what? 230 miles of range in that version. Okay. Our big battery pack gets up to the 400 mile range. Okay. But on a pricing side, entry level 69,000 before tax credit. Okay, I can't afford that though. I'm gonna have to get a used one, I guess, or a really dirt cheap one. But still, very cool. Uh, and when are you expecting these things to actually make it to market? These will, be, so we're through our website taking pre orders now. We've got a ton of positive uh, feedback. Yeah. They will be shipping to customers end of 2020. End of 2020, okay. And as of this moment, this is the only completed one anywhere, right? So we have mules on the road, uh, but from a body panel built out, this is built for the show. Right. But it's production design. So if you come here, if you come yeah. to the show and you pre order one of these, or you do it from anywhere else, and you take a picture of this, when it is delivered to you in a year, I want it to look the exact same as that photo. So, okay, so we're not gonna see, this is not a show car design. Correct. This is everything that we're actually gonna see. Is it? All right. Well, thanks again for showing us all this. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so if you have a bunch of cash laying around and you want a really cool truck where you can store it full of all kinds of crap in every little nook and cranny, check out a Rivian. The, the thing we wanna mention with this is a lot of people in the space, large SUV segment, large pickup truck segment, uh, for a price point, we think we've got a lot of features, including our three seconds zero to 60 um, wow. that are unique to that space. So yeah. come give us a look. That seems important when you're loading up stuff from Home Depot. You want to get the hell out of there as quick as possible. Definitely do. Good thinking. All right, look, thanks so much for talking to me. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Thank you.